So here's what's happened on Glee. If you live in a cave or just got out of prison. Quinn told Finn. I'm pregnant. But she didn't tell him that he's not the father. Puck is. Sup, Milf? Can you believe that? Wow. But that's not the only baby drama. Terry says she's pregnant, but really she's faking. And Mr. Schuster doesn't know. Oh, my God. Also, Rachel quit the Glee Club because Sue got Sandy to come back to direct a musical. It's a hot damn mess. Rachel and the Glee Club know that Quinn's pregnant, but they all think Finn's the father when really it's Puck. Oh. Yikes. And Terry's only fake pregnant and wants Quinn to give her her baby so Will won't find out. How come you haven't had any morning sickness? Oh, and also Ken is dating Emma, but she's really got eyes for Mr. Shu. Quinn's pregnant and Puck's the father, but Quinn's decided to give the baby to Terry, who's not pregnant, just pretending to be. It was her sister Kendra's idea. We're gonna have to get you a baby. Also, Ken proposed to Emma, and she said... Yes. Oh, and Sue got Figgins to make her co-director of the Glee Club. Hey, kids. Quinn's pregnant. You're off the Cheerios. And everyone thinks that Finn's the father, though really it's Puck. But Quinn thinks he's a lima loser and doesn't want anything to do with him. Sup, Milf? Also, Kurt told everybody he's gay, including his dad, who is actually kind of cool about Thanks it. Thanks for telling me, Kurt. Quinn's pregnant and Puck's the father, but everybody thinks it's Finn. You're a punk who doesn't deserve Quinn as his girlfriend. Except for Quinn's parents, who don't know anything at all. They just know she's in the celibacy club. We'll call the Vatican. We got ourselves another immaculate conception. Quinn's parents found out she's pregnant because Finn told them in song. We didn't even have sex. So they kicked her out, and now she's living at Finn's house. And everyone thinks that Finn's the father, though really it's Puck. I don't care if that baby comes out with a mohawk. I will go to my grave swearing it's Finn. Emma and Ken are getting married, though it seems like she really likes Will. I mean, if we were going to rank crush-worthy teachers at this school, you'd be number one with a bullet. Which Ken's kind of noticed, which makes him really not like Will. You and I, the whole world knows that I'm just a consolation prize to you. How do you think that makes me feel? Also, Terry says she's pregnant. Wow. But really, she's faking, and Mr. Schuster doesn't know. This baby's the only reason he's still here. Will's busy getting the kids ready for sectionals, where they're up against a school for the deaf. I can't hear you. Talking to this here, Scarlet Fever. You're on. And a group of juvie girls. Aphasia. Give Mr. Schuster his wallet back. But it turns out both of them are really good. You guys say like cool epilepsy. Also, Sue kicked Quinn out of the Cheerios because she's pregnant. I can't have a pregnant girl in my squad. You're a disgrace. It's not very nice, but neither is Sue. Those drinks are crap. Will found out Terry's fake pregnant. Yikes. Will left and he's sleeping at school. And he's disqualified from sectionals because he slept on a mattress. And Quinn's pregnant, but Puck's the father, not Finn. Which is awkward since Quinn's been living at Finn's house since her parents kicked her out. And Sue gave the competition Will's set list for sectionals. And Ken and Emma's wedding is that same day, so Will can't go to the wedding and Emma can't go to sectionals. And Ken just seems kind of angry. Will took over the Glee Club and at first they were terrible. We suck. But then they got kind of good. Quinn got pregnant and said it was Finn's, but really it was Puck's. I'm done with you! And Will's wife, Terry, said she was pregnant, but she was just scared that Will liked Emma. I just love my wife. And then they kissed. I want you to be happy, Finn. Rachel loves that she and Finn are the Glee Club's new power couple, but he seems a little weird about it. And Sue tried to throw sectionals, but they won anyway, which is pretty exciting. This is a travesty of international proportion. Finn got Kurt a tryout for the football team, which was super cool. But sometimes it seems like maybe Kurt's sort of got a crush on him. It's enough to want to give up women altogether. <laughs> Will's old crush, April, joined the Glee Club, but she was drunk all the time, so Will kicked her out. Also, Sue convinced Kurt and Mercedes that they should join the Cheerios, which Will was none too happy about. Jesse left vocal adrenaline. I'm a star. You can learn from me. So he could date Rachel, so now he's part of the Glee Club? Great to have you here. And they're the new power couple. Previous power couples, Rachel and Finn. I made us his and her relationship calendars. Oh. Also Rachel and Puck. You wanna make out? Sure. Will still has a crush on Emma. I could just lean over and kiss you if I want to. And I want to. But he hasn't divorced Terry yet, and he made out with the coach of vocal adrenaline. Most of show choir directors I make out with are gay. And Sue? Sloppy freak show babies! Still just kind of angry about everything. Kurt found a video of Sue in the Glee Club, posted it online. You, my friend, are an embarrassment! And then somebody made a glist of who in the Glee Club was the naughtiest. So Rachel tried to seem like a bad girl by doing a video with Finn, Puck, and Jesse, but mostly it just hurt their feelings and the song was really, really bad. Like, maybe the worst song ever written. Also, Sue spilled the beans that Will sucked face with Shelby Corcoran and that one time April Rhodes spent the night, which totally hurt Emma's feelings. And I'm through with you. Puck had to shave his mohawk and people started picking on him, so he started dating Mercedes to seem cool again because she was on the Cheerios but then she quit. It's just not who I am. Finn's mom, Carol's dating Kurt's dad, Bert, which was totally Kurt's idea, but then Kurt got mad that Bert and Finn started hanging out. I miss you, David. Rachel heard her voice and couldn't sing, and she kind of thought that was the only thing that was important. I need applause to live. But then Finn introduced her to a friend who showed her that there's a lot worse things to lose than your voice. Will's old rival, Brian Ryan, tried to cancel the club. <laughs> You're done here. Then he was really into it. I got custom-made jean jackets. Then he tried to cancel it again. You think you're helping these kids when all you're doing is setting them up to be jaded and bitter. Finn's mom's dating Kurt's dad, which was totally part of Kurt's plan to get closer to Finn, who he's always sort of had a crush on. When will you learn that nothing 
is impossible when it comes to love. Artie told Tina what his greatest dream was, then realized that not every dream was achievable. Is that even a word? Achievable? Achievitate? Achievalize? Okay, you just said like 10 offensive things. Jesse pushed Rachel to find out who her mom was, and it turns out it's Shelby Corcoran, the coach of vocal adrenaline. I want a look that's so optimistic, it could cure cancer. Regionals is coming up, and Jesse's left the Glee Club, and though it seems like he might be a spy, he also seems to really like Rachel, which is confusing. I think I kind of like her. I don't want her to get hurt. Quinn's prego and feels like she's totally alone. And Sue won't leave Will alone as the poor guy's trying to get over divorcing his terrible wife, Terry. I mean, she's not terrible. She's just kind of, you know, terrible. Sorry. And Quinn's parents found out she's pregnant, so they kicked her out. I needed my mom. So it's decided you move in with me. Jesse dropped Rachel and McKinley and the New Directions, and he's back on vocal adrenaline, which freaked everybody out and convinced them they can't beat him at regionals. And if they don't place at regionals, the club is over, which would be awful. And that's what you missed.